Thank you to our sponsor for curating this video. Welcome to Art Score. I'm Don Victor Vargas, and my vision is to see the public talk about art without feeling anxious. That's why I produce these videos, so the next time you see art, you can talk about it with ease. With that said, let's talk about this painting. Well, technically, this is not a painting, it's a relief. As an artist, I'd love to dabble in relief work. I've always looked at reliefs as stone illustration. I've always appreciated the design, the intelligence, the math that went into composing ancient reliefs. Some old art like this dates back 5,000 plus years. This one specifically is from 728 BC. So let's score the quality of this art and see what we discover. This relief is called Calvaryman. It's done by the Assyrians. You can clearly see guys on horses in a military attack. So I give the subject because it's super clear a nine. The story here is about Assyrian warriors on horseback and how they're systematically annihilating their enemy. I say systematically because I see multiple horses, multiple men, and they're in step with each other. Together they're in one accord, focused on one purpose, and are acting as one mega superpower overtaking their enemies. This is why I give story a nine. I give medium a 9 as well. To cut into stone with such precision and artistry requires mastery. It's just powerful. Color. So we're going to give color a 0. This means we're not going to score it because there's no color in the image to actually score. Now values, I give it a 7. The relief has no value like a painting would, but the light hits the surface of the stone and creates certain textures. Because there's more surface area for shadows and highlights to cling to, it makes the stone look darker or lighter. And so the artist has to know how to cut the stone to capture that highlight to make an area go lighter or to cast a shadow to make it go dark. For example, the warrior's beard, bird feathers, and part of the horses, they go light and dark in certain areas and that's why I give value a 7. I give this piece a 9 for style. Obviously when you look at this relief you know it's ancient art. It's from the time when Syria and Babylon and Egypt were important centers in the world. Now the structure of this image is incredible. The level of craftsmanship composition and design is awe-inspiring. I have no clue how these people did all this so long ago and more importantly how did they even know about it? Visual design at this level and caliber requires sensitivity to math and a keen spatial intelligence. They needed to understand the systems of rectangles and diagonals used by artists to order and unify a composition. This level of design, composition, and drawing only comes from great training. Just like the cavalry in the relief to ride horses in step require great training. And so we know that these people were trained incredibly well. We can see it in the story they're telling and we can see it in the precision, in the artistry, in the intelligence of how they're actually crafting this artifact, this work of art. And so Therefore, because of that, I give structure a 9. This relief gets a 9 for movement. In one powerful flow, my eye arcs up through the horse's back and down through its legs. This arc makes me feel the Assyrians crushing into their enemy. The guy behind the horse, he's either doing a cartwheel, cartwheel or he just got booted off the horse being attacked. That guy is fantastic because he triggers a sensation of speed, action, and time passing. Because once we see him, and we see the cavalry, and then we see the horse being attacked, our mind connects those three frames, those key frames if you will, and it creates a sense of speed, a sense of passing time, and of course, action. This relief has a compelling art moving us through it, making us feel that action and that life. It's potent. And then there's the reverse curve in the ibis or the vulture or whatever that bird is. The curve that makes the bird flow upward and pull away from the battle. This curve creates tension between the bird above and the horses below. Now this is super important because it works as a, I believe it's called a, comp a capacitor, where it creates this visual tension that builds up. And then when our eye hits the spears, it discharges that, that pressure, that tension, and with great velocity shoots down those spears. And why is that brilliant? Because it makes us feel the stabbing or the lancing of the enemy, right? And the arc makes us feel that the horses are, are coming down and crushing the enemy as well as the spears are driving through the enemy. And so that visual 
uh, tension that's built up through those reverse curves and then the explosion of that down those spears is just absolutely incredible. It's, it's just amazing. The artist clearly understands how to capture and control the eye to trigger an emotional experience. It's just brilliant. Shape gets a 9 as well. In this case, the care of the shapes is pretty straightforward. There is no background per se, so each element has its own unique identity and integrity. For example, the people, the animals, the weapons are all separated from the background. I give edges a 9. The negative and positive shapes feel more like puzzle pieces that fit perfectly together. This is the evidence of a high sensitivity to the care of edges and also alignments. Everything joins together. The guy who got booted off the horse snaps right into the space between him and the horse. Just look around the image and you'll begin to feel the sensation of how the positive shapes or the objects and the negative shapes fit perfectly together. Everything in every space just fits into each other. And this can only be done with a deliberate intention and a tremendous amount of care. I give Soul a 9 because my eye comes up through the Assyrian warriors and then down through their spears. All of this works together to create this sense of speed, power, and force. And this is the spirit of the relief. The fact that we can feel the verb in this stone is outstanding. I gave Pattern an 8. The repeated rectangles in the warrior's armor, the horses, the bird, and the beards. Most importantly, the repetition of the spears and lines are powerful. Those angles are so strong they create a powerful force that leads us to the lancing of their enemies. I gave Harmony a 7. As my eye starts at the top, moves around the edges, and then comes back into the image, there are some areas in which my eye slows down. There are a few places where my eye actually could get stuck a bit, but doesn't. It's clear the artist is intentionally moving our eye through the image. They're managing the nuances so that our eye doesn't get caught or thrown off the composition. And so I give them a 7 because I think they did an excellent job. Signature. For signature, I'm giving it a zero because there is no signature. And this means we're not going to score it because, well, there's no signature actually to score in the image. In the end, because we're not judging the signature or color, we remove that from the equation. So this image gets 103 points out of 108, which yields a 95%, which is absolutely incredible. That's really, really great. In conclusion, I absolutely love relief art personally. Like I said before, they're like stone illustrations to me. So if you're looking for a medium that will last the test of time, this is a great medium to consider. I'd love to know what you scored this image. If you need help understanding the art score framework better, go ahead and download our free guide. The link is below or in the bio. Also, if you liked this video and you felt that it was educational and you learned something, then please do us a favor, like the video. It helps us in the algorithm. You can also share and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, ciao.